Okay, let's get into a really difficult atom economy question. This is 9.6. Metal X is extracted from an oxide of metal X by reaction with hydrogen. I've got a cold, so I might sound a bit sniffly. The equation for the reaction is XO3 plus 3H2 goes to X plus 3H2O. The percentage atom economy for obtaining metal X by this method is 77.3%. Voila. Calculate the relative atomic mass of metal X. Relative atomic mass, AR, Hydrogen is 1, oxygen is 16. It's good to use a bit of a highlighter to highlight key things. First thing off the bat here is you're going to get one mark if you know the atom economy equation off by heart. So it's going to get us off the board. Atom economy equals kind of like the MR of or AR, whatever, of useful products over total MR of Oh, oh my god, I can't even write properly. Total MR of products. And then we're going to times 100. Now, we know that we've got the answer. It's 77.3. So we're going to start setting this out and working it out. So we know that what's the useful product? Well, it gives us in the question, calculate X. This is all about obtaining X, this equation. So we know that X is the useful product. So we're going to set out our equation like this. X over the total MR, which is going to be X plus 3H2O, is equal, oops, sorry, times 100, is equal to 77.3. Now, those of you that are A star, math, with kid, super duper, mega minds, you could probably go and solve this now. You want to solve this to find X. If that's the case, pause the video, have a go. And I'm going to go through the answers. So this is how I did it, but there are many ways to skin a cat. So uh, first up, I am going to calculate what three H2Os are. Well, we've got H1, H is 1, O is 16. So H2O is equal to 3 times 18. 3 times 10 is 30. 3 8 to 24. That equals 54. So we can rewrite this uh, with 3 H2O as 54. That's a bit long, isn't it? To rewrite that all out like that. Oh, well, let's do it. So X plus 54 um, times 100 equals 77.3. Now, there's two ways to go from here. Some people say, OK, I'm going to divide both sides by 100 to get rid of the times 100. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to times both sides by X plus 54. So that's my next step is to um, times both sides by x plus 54 and what that's going to do that's going to get rid of that x plus 54 there and i can write it all out over here so we're now going to have x um times 100 is equal to 77.3 times by in brackets and this is the bit where a lot of people will make a mistake this next step x plus 54 okay so <clears throat> Where's the mistake? A lot of people now, I'm going to times the brackets out. And a lot of people, oh, that's kind of ugly that times there because we're dealing with, I hate dealing with X and having X and writing the multiplication sign because it just looks like an X. Okay, so I've got 77.3. I should just get rid of that, shouldn't I? That's just daft of me. So let's get rid of that. Uh, we're back. Okay, <laughs> let's get rid of the X. That just looks ugly. Okay. And he's still left. Never mind. That'll do. Right. So I've got X equals 100 equals 77.3. And that. let's multiply out the brackets. Jeez. Now, what you've got to remember here, a lot of people will make a mistake. Do 77.3 times X and then separately 77.3 times 54. So what we're going to have is X times 100. Why aren't I just calling it 100x? You can tell I'm not a proper mathematician. So let's just do equals 100x is equal to 77.3x plus got to do 77.3 times 54. What the hell does that equal 77.3. I can't do that one in my head. I know some of you countdown experts can. That equals 4 
So we multiplied out those brackets. Now all I need to do is take 77.3 from both sides. 77.3x, sorry, not 77.3. And that is going to leave us with, oh my gosh, a bad cough because I got a cold. 22.7x, which is equal to 4174.2. So I just need to find out how much each x is worth. So I'm going to divide 4174.2, divide it by... 22.7 and we're going to get an answer of 183.88 i'm going to round that to 184 boom <laughs> quick coughing fit slurpity that's how to solve that one and that is a bit of a beast i have to be honest and even someone who is so stupid at maths as me can do it with a bit of practice. You can too. All right. Like, share, subscribe. You know the coup. Let's get to the marks. You're still here? It's over.